Montse Solé and we are at the Institute for Research in Biomedicine in Barcelona. I would like to present you our hypothesis on the role of exit in the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disorder characterized by the extracellular accumulation of amyloid beta plaques and the intracellular accumulation of hyperphosphorylated tau in neurofibrillary tangles. Despite the fact that there are several hypotheses trying to explain the cause of the disease, our knowledge is still insufficient to address current issues and controversies. And this is why we have applied an interaction discovery approach to generate an Alzheimer's associated protein interaction network based on our previous findings that AD causative and susceptibility genes tend to be physically connected. We discovered 200 novel protein-protein interactions that we further complemented with the available human interactome data. Interestingly, we identified several functional modules in the protein network that were related with early features of Alzheimer's, such as inflammation, oxidative stress, or mitochondrial dysfunction. We also detected other processes like transcriptional regulation, apoptosis, or homeostasis. Taken together, it seems that instead of a linear chain of events, diverse pathways could initiate and drive AD, where some alterations would be non-pathologic but reactionary or even protective. We identified EXIT as a central node in this associated network. EXIT is an adapter protein connecting several pathways, but the exact mechanism by which EXIT mediates this crosstalk still remains uncertain. Here, we propose a role for EXIT in regulating the amyloid burden, initially to protect the cell, but in later stages to repair the neuronal damage. An initial accumulation of extracellular A-beta could behave as an initiating damage signal, stimulating the immune system and at the same time balancing the redox system to protect the cell against potential oxidative damage. The stress response would promote the mitochondrial translocation of exit to enhance bioenergetics, but it would also increase ROS as a byproduct. Eventually, an excessive ROS production would lead to oxidative stress and subsequently to an increase of mitochondrial A-beta levels. Additionally, A-beta can be also uptaken towards the mitochondria, enhancing the A-beta mediated toxicity and thereby inducing the release of damaging signals. These signals directly affect the calcium signaling in synapses, compromising the neurotransmission. In a more advanced stage, amyloid-driven damage would converge to a common pathological cascade, and as a consequence, this cascade would progressively expand to other neuronal cell types like microglia, with the aim to repair the neuron damage. In addition, as the cell goes anaerobic, it undergoes a negative modulation of proliferation and further inhibition of neurogenesis. Nevertheless, failure to repair would eventually trigger the induction of an apoptotic response. Secondary events could amplify the disease process, leading to neuronal death. In summary, in this article, we provide a mechanistic hypothesis that integrates the role of exit as a sensor of multiple damage signals, as an integrating hub through the specific regulation of protective or repairing molecular mechanisms, and as a molecular switch by inducing an apoptotic cascade when repair fails. We hope that our hypothesis provides deeper insights into the molecular mechanisms underlying Alzheimer's disease. And in particular, we think that EXIT could be a promising biomarker to detect AD in pre-symptomatic stages.